Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the latest edition of Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast. I am Tim Parmeter, founder and CEO of Fran Coach and your Franchising 101 host. Uh, today, we are going to welcome in one of our franchise partners. Um, and this is something that's a little bit of a kind of a newer concept, newer industry, uh, but just blowing up. And I'm really excited to kind of kind of share this with everybody. But before we get into this amazing franchise opportunity, just a quick reminder of who we are. And Fran Coach is a national search firm dedicated to working with individuals like yourself who are interested in owning a franchise. We're partnered with well over 600 of the top franchisors in the country, spanning nearly 70 industries. Our goal is to help clients find the absolute best franchise for them to own. And the goal of the Franchising 101 podcast is to simply help you get properly educated on all aspects of franchise ownership. All right, that's that stuff. Now let's get to the good stuff. So joining us today is the Director of Franchise Development for a featured brand, which is called Beam Light Sauna. And joining us is Ms. Jordan Reed. Jordan, thanks for coming on today. Thank you for having me. It is uh, great great to, to be able to have you talk uh, today with us a little bit about Beam. Um, I know we just, uh, probably not too long ago, started um, kind of really working together and just, uh, just from, it has been a fantastic experience um, for, for, for us working with everybody within, within beam, um, working with you, everything has been fantastic. So I'm really excited to kind of share that with everybody. And, um, I hope you're ready. I have lots of questions for you about beam, but first, none of that matters. Franchising is a people business. So tell us a little bit about Jordan and in particular, how in the heck did you get into this crazy world that is franchising? Yeah, I would love to. So again, my name's Jordan Reed. I'm an Austinite, born and raised in Austin, Texas, where, you know, my franchising journey really began. I was initially a customer at my first company that I worked at, Restore Hyper Wellness. So I am a big runner. I've done a few half marathons and a few marathons. And part of my recovery was cryotherapy. Jim Donnelly, the CEO of, or then the CEO of Restore Hyper Wellness was building a team and, you know, took a chance on me. Initially, I was doing campaign management on the marketing side and, you know, did that for about a year with them, after which transitioned onto the construction team and worked with the architects and the engineers on developing floor plans for the uh, for the franchisees and finally my last position was franchise development for the last two and a half years at my time there and that really stuck and luckily i had learned a lot about the business and the inner workings of you know a franchise organization especially an emerging brand at the time i was one of the first seven employees and Restore had about 12 locations. Today, they have, I believe, over 260 locations. And by the time I left my development, you know, stint with them, we had sold about five to 600 locations. So we were, you know, doing doing really well. And I was in an industry that I loved. So Beam is a perfect extension to continue this journey for health and wellness for me. It began with cryotherapy. And if anyone's familiar with Restore, it's a one, one-stop shop. But Beam is you know, a, an amazing brand that's super focused on light therapy, specifically in the infrared sauna world, which is just a second favorite service of mine. Awesome. Um, cool. I like, and I think everybody that, that we've ever talked to, almost everybody in franchising has some, like, it wasn't by intent to get into franchising. And it just, it yeah. kind of falls, <laughs> falls in their lap some way, shape or form. And then the next thing you know, it's the next five years, 10 years, 50 years, whatever. So um, super cool. And, and now you are over with Beam Light Sauna. So let's start with the basics. What the heck is light sauna? Give us a little scoop on just the like what it is, the service uh, that is provided for your customers. Awesome. So beam light sauna, infrared sauna, and then red light therapy are the two services that they currently have within their system. 
they want to be the owner of light therapy in general as a category, really, you know, whenever you think of light therapy, that you think of them as an adjective, you're going to go beam. But infrared sauna and red light therapy really focus on, you know, these these health and wellness categories. So benefits like removing toxins, reducing stress, igniting metabolism, relieving pain, boosting immunity and renewing skin are all aspects that, you know, these services can have. Infrared sauna is a 45 minute session where you go into what looks like a traditional dry sauna, but as opposed to typical heat that you would find in a dry sauna, it's being heated by infrared light, which is essentially heating you from the core out. With red light therapy, this is a really special service that really promotes skin health. So as far as, you know, customers that would fall into this category, someone who has cystic acne, eczema, psoriasis, or alopecia would really benefit from this service. It's 15 minutes and in an essence, not to, not to deem it a miracle light, but it has a lot of benefits that would, that would definitely have a definition of a miracle life to an extent. Gotcha. Um, how much, like, I guess kind of newness is this? Cause I know maybe about a year or so ago was the first time I'd really kind of stum- stumbled onto this and I'm, I'm, I'm old and I'm cynical. So I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, and, until I did it, but, um, th- I'm guessing there's still, there's, there's awareness of this, but there's still a lot of education just going on, on what these services really, really do. Is that correct? That's a great question. So infrared sauna has been around since the sixties and has tons of articles in combination, red light therapy and Infrared light therapy have thousands of articles, peer reviewed um, studies that have been done on these services. Red light therapy is actually used in the NICU as well. And in general, something that physicians utilize when someone is injured or to promote wound healing. So though it is newer in the public eye, these are two therapies that have been used for quite some time. Hey everyone, I am proud to spotlight one of our premier franchise partners this month, and that is Senior Helpers. With Senior Helpers, as a franchise owner, you can truly have it all. You'll be able to discover your purpose and make your calling a career as a Senior Helpers franchise owner. Founded way back in 2002, Senior Helpers has expanded to become a global brand with more than 350 franchise locations. As America's most trusted senior care brand, Senior Helpers makes it easy to stand out in your local market. As a franchise owner of Senior Helpers, you'll be able to enjoy the independence of owning your own business, grow your income in the lucrative senior care industry, benefit from a proven recession-resistant business model, receive unmatched one-on-one business coaching and training support, and build fulfilling relationships that allow you to make a positive impact in your community. Get in touch with us today to learn more about becoming a Senior Helpers franchise owner so you can create your better tomorrow. Hey everyone, I wanted to take a quick break from our podcast to tell you about our amazing friends at Entrepreneur. If you're looking to become a franchisee or simply learn more about business ownership, and guys, let's be honest, you're listening to the Franchising 101 podcast, so we know you have some interest in this. And I really encourage you to go to entrepreneur.com to check out all of their great content and resources. Seriously, Entrepreneur has everything, all the way from a bookstore to the best podcast webinars and videos, plus information on upcoming events and the latest articles that seriously, they cover all aspects of franchising and business ownership. If you're having trouble deciding which franchise is right for you, start with Entrepreneur's renowned Franchise 500 ranking, which highlights the best franchises of 2022. For 45 years and counting now, Entrepreneur has been and continues to be the most widely recognized and respected authority in the franchise market. Digital and print subscriptions are available, so you never miss out on anything. So seriously, what are you waiting for? Go to entrepreneur.com right now and learn more. Yeah. So you mentioned the, the one being around since the sixties, same, same for me. Right. And so that was like the first time <laughs> I, I used this last little over a year, last summer 
my wife drug me on a cruise. And by the time we came back from the cruise, like basically everyone that goes on a cruise, we were sick. And so we, we just, we just kind of were like talking about like, you know, like, let's, let's go try it. And I mean, it was like maybe 15 minutes into the session. I mean, I'm like, I went from skeptical to like, how do I, like, I want one of these in my house, right? I want to come to these yeah. all the time. It was I, like, it was maybe one of the most times I've been most blown away by, I had this preconceived notion. I'm like, well, at least I'll sweat some of it out, but it was, it was, it was fantastic. Right. And so I'm guessing from your customer base, they're going to have a similar experience if they've never done it before, just get them in the door because they're, they're, they're going to feel better. And then with some of the skin things they are going to also look better. It's like, it just, whether anybody out there is listening and wants to own a beam light sauna. Okay, great. Like seriously, go try this out. It is, it is fantastic. So, um, we just got to get one really close to where I live, uh, Jordan. So let's work on that. So, um, so the, um, so th those are some of the services. So now let's talk about the, about the owner and some of the things that you're looking for. Um, this can be somebody that's jumping in full time, but you guys are also very open to semi absentee owners as well. Talk about some of the things that you really kind of look for in a prospective owner. Right. So I think a drive and a passion for health and wellness is going to help candidates really resonate with these services more. As you mentioned, it's still newer to the public eye. So 90% of the people that I work with have never tried infrared sauna or red light therapy before. And that's okay. It's all a part of the process that eventually they'll be able to try these services. But a passion behind health and wellness and bringing these services to the community is going to be key. They do not have to be an owner operator by any means. This is certainly a model that managing the manager is completely feasible. Um, in the beginning, of course, being more involved in your business is going to be key in setting you up for success. But Beam has done a really great job of creating a simplistic model that is perfect for a semi-absent owner. So talk a little bit about the type of staff that we need, right? Obviously, we're going to have a physical location for this, but this is a very low labor model um, versus, you know, other kind of, you know, higher in all those things in a strip mall that are boutique tend to need bigger staffs, much more skilled, trained staff. Um, this is pretty simplistic. So talk a little bit about what that labor model looks like for an owner. As you mentioned, minimal labor. So really when we're going into the four walls of this location, it's two individuals running the store at any given time. So you have your wellness associates that are front desk individuals. Then you have back of house, which are sauna attendants who are really turning over and sanitizing the equipment. Other than that, you have your manager running the day to day and doing community outreach. But if we look at totality, around six to eight people on your payroll is a good average to have. What's nice about this model in comparison to other, other services in this health and wellness area, these are two services that you don't need any special licensing for. So no medical license, no esthetician license required for really facilitating these services, which is great for an owner who doesn't necessarily have the expertise of hiring a nurse or hiring an esthetician. Of course, that's always something that a franchisor can provide as far as a as far as support goes. But it creates that that much more simplicity when it comes to hiring your staff. In addition to that, all the staff that's within the four walls, so that sauna attendant and wellness associate can be onboarded through Beam University. So it's a quick training period in case there is any turnover. Awesome. Super, super nice. Which, and again, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's not, you know, you're, you're not running a hair salon and now you got to replace somebody that has that specific, you can bring pretty much anybody in and get them, get them up and running pretty quickly. So makes it very nice. What are we looking at as far as real estate and, and kind of a size of a location? Right, exactly. And, you know, even further to that point too, Beam has done a really great job of creating technology that really helps streamline as well as 
create a more consistent experience for the customer. You know, whenever we're talking about an hourly employee, of course, putting your potential membership basis in sales in the hands of an hourly employee can be a little intimidating. Well, Beam has built a piece of technology called Lumi that helps educate the customers behind the service, tells them about the benefits, as well as ask them a series of questions to really understand what that customer is trying to achieve, to formulate a cadence that that customer should come in and thus a recommendation for a membership. So it creates even further a layer of, you know, we have a low labor model, but now we have a more consistent experience with this technology that just brings Beam into even more of a more comfortable state for that owner to be that semi semi absent ownership style. Gotcha. No, I love I love it because that is the that is the thing is the a simple model, but you've still those people. Somebody has to be selling the memberships, right? So, um, the, right. all the more you can you can help help them do that, the better for everybody. So, um, what are we looking at from a real estate standpoint? Um, kind of maybe like kind of the size of the location, and then also talk about all of the incredible um, like kind of the incredible amount of support that an owner is going to get on that real estate side from Beam. Typical size for a location, the sweet spot is going to be 1,600 to 1,800 square feet. We can go as low as 13 or as high as 2,000, but sweet spot being that 1,600 to 1,800 area, we're looking for that class A real estate. And really what we want is cross-pollination with the co-tenants. We want boutique fitness as well as other aesthetic services like waxing or lashes, really instilling that similar customer basis within your real estate area. As far as support goes, from cradle to grave, Beam has got you covered. So they work with two national brokerage firms to deploy a local broker on the ground for you. After we solidify a piece of real estate, we're going to work with Rhino7 on construction management. They are going to provide you architectural resources and GC resources and also project manage your build out for you. So all in all, as far as this timeline goes with building out your location, Beam has a resource for you that the candidate and the franchisee don't have to go necessarily and digging for these resources. The And I think it's one thing that most people don't really have much experience with things. Say, oh, I've, I've, I've done sales, I've done marketing, I've, I've managed people, whatever. Um, site selection, lease negotiations, tenant improvements, build out all of this. And it's a simple build out, but it's still a build out that can be really daunting. And so it's, it's one of those things where you just go, look, the, the, the franchisor, like this is, these are the things you're going to have their handheld throughout all of that, right? To kind of prevent them from missing anything, doing anything dumb, like, oh my gosh, don't put it there, um, whatever. So just anybody that's kind of listening and like, oh my God, that, that seems daunting. It is, but that's why you, again, it's one of the many reasons why you have a franchise for all of that support along along the way, right? So um, talk a little bit about some of the other support mechanisms um, that that a franchise owner is going to get from 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 Beam, and I think everybody's question is going to be: When we have a business, it's usually a good idea to have customers. So, how does how's Beam going to help with that? What are some of the things that owner and that manager need to do to also drive traffic to their business? Yeah, so Beam and Roger Martin, any of your candidates ever come in to a brand visit will tell you that Beam is really establishing a marketing agency within a franchisor. So digital marketing is super important for their business. They understand that's very important for their franchisees business and drawing customers into their locations. So part of the pre-launch process and even before you open your doors, Beam has established a 12 to 16 week pre-launch process that establishes founding members. So they are marketing your location on Facebook, Instagram, and Google, and really optimizing those ads, funneling those leads into a call center and converting them into founding members. And they also have a go-to-market strategy and a playbook 
core community outreach efforts and really allow you to instill, you know, a community footprint before you even open your doors with coaching as well. So even before you open your doors, Beam's goal is for you to have an established founding membership basis and money in your bank. Post to opening, that continues. So they are still going to reach out obtain leads for you. They have that digital agency. They have that call center side. So there are all these tools that are available for the franchisees to utilize. And then coaching that comes along with that to really just deploy community outreach and then sales techniques on the ground floor. Okay, Jordan. So love all the information about Beam. And like, again, I just, I, I want one of these near me so I can be, I can be a member. Like I'll be a founding member. I will come often. I'll behave myself. I promise um, with this, but um, what else maybe would you like us to know about Beam and this opportunity that we've not, that we've not talked about yet? As far as, you know, the important things to know that this is an organization that is Full support. So from cradle to grave, they have you covered internally. It's a semi-absent opportunity. As far as the numbers go, it's a 36 to 38 percent margin that you can reference in our in our FDD as well. So these are high margin, low labor and low overhead models. So all in all, it's a great opportunity. We're seeing a lot of um, a lot of interest in Beam as well. So Tim, hopefully it will be in a neighborhood near you. We've sold 200 units so far. So we are go- we are on the precipice of being a household name. And I also want to thank, as always, all of our fantastic, amazing listeners and subscribers and followers who tune in every week to the Franchising 101 podcast. We've got some exciting things coming up in October. I always want to invite you and encourage you, if you have something you would like us to talk about, Trust me, man, running out of ideas. We're 160 episodes into this sucker. Um, send them to me. We've got a, a solo episode in October that is really going to be from one of our listeners who kind of sent something in to us. If you have any thoughts, questions, things you want to learn more about, you want us to talk about, send those in. Francoach.net, franchising101podcast.net. As always, we are nothing but net here. Uh, spoken like a true former basketball dude. Um, and then as well, anytime you are ready to learn more about franchise ownership for you to see if it's a potential match, again, reach out to us. There's never any fee for our service. So let's take a few minutes to figure out how we create your better tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we'll talk with you next week.